Hi everybody. In this video, I'll show you how to access the free data from the ArcGIS online website and use it in QGIS. In case you've never heard of ArcGIS, it's the leading GIS software package and is widely used by scientists, city planners, and other GIS professionals. ArcGIS Online is a website that provides online mapping tools and also free GIS data on a wide range of subjects. This data can easily be used in QGIS. First, go to this website. The first section of the page, Learn by Doing, is for the online mapping service, which we're not interested in here. The second section contains some base maps and other data. The only useful thing here is the Go to Living Atlas button at the bottom of the section. Click on this and you'll see a listing of data sets. At the top of the window, there are several categories to choose from and also a search field. Here I've selected Environmental from the Boundaries menu. I want to use the wetland regions of the U.S. data, so I'll click on that. A page opens with information about the data set. Scroll down until you see the URL field on the right. Note, not every data set on this website has a URL field. To keep things simple, I'm skipping those. To the right of the URL field is a copy button. Click this to copy the URL. Now we're ready to bring this data into QGIS. To make it a lot easier to see what you're doing, you'll need some kind of base map. You can use one of the common base maps, such as the ones from Google or OpenStreetMap, or you can create a simple base map from vector data. I'll use data from the U.S. Census Bureau to create a simple U.S. map. Here I've added the file, set the CRS to Lambert Conformal Conic, and also set the fill to No Brush. Now I'll add my new data. I'll go to Layer, Add Layer, Add ArcGIS REST Server Layer. This window will open. Click New to open a new connection. Add a name in the Name field, then paste the URL you copied earlier into the URL field and click OK. This will return you to the previous window. Click Connect and you'll see something like this. This shows the data layers that are available. It looks like I have a polygon layer. I'll add this by selecting it, then clicking Add and Close. Note, depending on the complexity of the data, once you click Add, it can take a while for the data to be added to the map. Wait until it's done before clicking Close. Here's what I get. Next, I'll move this layer below the States layer and adjust the colors. Finally, I'll add some labels to the data layer. To do this, I'll open the attribute table for it to see what I have to work with. There are several columns with labels. I'll use the MLRA name ones. To add the labels, I'll open the layer properties for the layer and click on the labels tab. Then I'll select single labels and set the value to MLRA name. Here's how that looks. And that one is done. Next, we'll try some point data. Here's a data set from the People Education category of colleges and universities in the U.S. I'll follow the same steps as before. Copy the URL, then add an ArcGIS REST server layer to bring the data into QGIS. Here's what I get. Hmm. The Layers palette shows five categories, but all of the markers correspond to Other, which doesn't make much sense. I'll take a look at the Attribute table. The field called NAICS clearly shows different types of schools, even though they all use the Other marker for some reason. To fix this, I'll separate the data based on this attribute. Since I want to separate all of the records into five categories, I'll use the Split Vector Layer procedure. Here are the settings to use. Now I'll add the separated shapefiles to the map. I'll start with the business and secretarial schools. Looks good. Now I'll add the other categories. And we're done. I don't know why the original data was all lumped into a single category, 
but the problem was easy to solve because the data had the attribute we needed to sort it into the correct categories. Finally, we'll try adding some of the ArcGIS data to a world map. First, I'll start with a basic world map using natural Earth data. Instead of going to the Living Atlas feature, this time I'll use the other option from ArcGIS. At the bottom of the page is a section called See What Others Are Doing with a Go To Popular Content button. Clicking the button takes me to this page. There are a wide range of datasets here, from city areas to global issues. I'll try the Active Hurricanes, Cyclones, and Typhoons dataset. Clicking on it brings up the Detail column. Like before, I get a URL field. I'll click the Copy button, then add a new layer to my QGS map as before. I'll name this layer Cyclones and click Connect. This gives me a bunch of options. I'll select them all and click Add, then Close. Here's what I get. There's a lot going on here. I can use the Layers panel to turn off the layers I don't need. I'll leave them all on for now. Finally, I'll add a Google Satellite base map and change the country borders to white. And I'm done. At this point, the data I've added is coming directly from the ArcGIS server. Depending on the data, this can really slow things down, especially if you zoom in or out. To fix this, you can export the data into regular GIS formats such as shapefiles. Before exporting the data, make sure the terms of use for the dataset are appropriate for your project. To export, click on the layer you want in the Layers panel to select it. Then right-click and select Export Save Features As. You'll see this window. Set the format you want, usually Esri Shapefile, then click the three dots button to the right of File Name and select a location to save the data. Click OK. Now you can add the data to your project. Here I've added track and position and made them easier to see. And that's it. Now you have another data source to work with. Check out my designer's guide to creating great maps at themapguide.net slash guide and download two free chapters. That's all for now. See you next time.